For today's foundation review and wear test, I'll be trying out the new Pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Foundation. I picked this up last week from Macy's during their friends and family sale. I got it for 15% off. Normally it retails for $38. You can find this at Macy's, you can find this at Ulta, you can also find it at Sephora and on Pure Cosmetics website. According to Macy's website, this foundation claims to redefine complexion perfection with this groundbreaking long wear foundation and concealer that's formulated to instantly mask blemishes and imperfections, leaving behind a natural skin-like finish. It's a multi-purpose complexion miracle that serves as both a foundation and a concealer for quick and easy application. It also claims to be a skincare product in that it prevents against blue light, blue zone, and anti-pollution. It also claims to be long wear and it does claim that um, it will give you a healthier looking complexion. So anything that's going to make my skin look healthy and glowy and beautiful, I'm all on board. Let's get started with the review. So I'm going to shake this up. You always want to make sure you shake all of your foundations prior to using them. Sometimes the oils and the pigments in there, they can separate. So you want to make sure that you're going to get the best couple pumps that you use um, whenever you begin to apply this to your face. Um, I should also mention that the shade I'm going to be using today is LG7. LG7 was described as a, for very light skin with a golden undertone. This foundation comes in 100 shades. I don't think I've ever seen a foundation come with this extensive shade range. So great job to Pure Cosmetics on their shade range, on their undertone range, because there are so many different undertones. I think that is one of the main things that, that you need to uh, learn about your skin that you need to be aware of whenever you go and find a, look for a new foundation or a concealer. You wanna make sure that you get the undertone right, okay? So keep that in mind the next time that you go and pick up a new foundation. I picked this up, I did a shade match online on Macy's.com and um, hopefully we have a good shade here. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with two pumps of this foundation. Okay. This is a wet n wild sponge and I've been loving this sponge for a good month and a half now. Um, I picked one up at, I think I was actually, I got them both from the wet n wild website um, and I love them. They're really soft. My makeup doesn't really soak into the sponge and it really applies it really well. I don't really see a difference between this little $5 sponge versus the $20 beauty blender. So this is a great buy. It's a wet n wild beauty sponge. You might be able to find them in Walmart in stores now, um, but for sure they have it on the wet n wild website. So I would definitely give this a shot. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the back or the bottom of my beauty blender and I'm gonna pick up a little bit of the product and I'm gonna start placing it on my face just like that, some little dots. And now I'm gonna start stamping. Lightly stamping. Remember, we don't want to use a lot of force, a lot of pressure when we're applying our products to the face. Any kind of pulling and tugging can all advance the signs of aging. So you want to be as gentle as you can when you're applying your makeup and skincare products. You're gonna notice that I'm not gonna go under my eye. The less product that we place under our eye, the better looking it's gonna be. And I'll explain that a little bit more in a second when we get down to the concealer. But I never take my foundation up under my eye. You just kinda wanna leave that open and just let the concealer do its job there. The under eye is a very delicate area and that's the first place that our aging shows up. 
the fine lines under our eyes, those are our giveaways. So the less product that we can put on there, the better it's gonna look. Now I'm just slightly just stamping this, making sure I get my jawline. I do drag this down on my neck, just blend down, hit my earlobe a little bit there. Pick up a little bit more. So far, I'm liking the coverage. I think I did a good shade match. Maybe a little bit light, but that's okay. Or air on the side of lighter than darker because I can always darken it up with my bronzer, with my contour. I do wear sunscreen. Um, I live in South Texas, the heat over here, the sun is brutal. So I have to wear sunscreen every day. But you know, when you go to the beach, I was at the beach last weekend and um, I wanted to get some sun, I wanted to get some color, so I did. Um, at least for me. <laughs> I don't really get, I don't get too dark. Um, and I, you always need to be careful whenever you're gonna be out in the sun. You always just wanna make sure you wear your sunscreen. This foundation did not have sunscreen, so that's why I made sure to apply a sunscreen um, before I started applying this foundation. What are we thinking so far? I'm liking it. Looks okay to me right now. And I think those two pumps that's enough. I don't feel like I need to add any more. Um, and I'm not really gonna conceal any of my acne scars. Um, I don't feel, I just kind of want this foundation uh, to speak for itself. So I'm not gonna go in, I'm just gonna see how all that wears. I am gonna go in with uh, some concealer under my eye and highlight some of the high points in my face. And I'm also gonna use some setting powder. All right, so we're gonna say I put this foundation on at 11 o'clock. It's 11.01 right now, um, AM. So I'm gonna give this a good 12 hour wear test. I'll be doing some check-ins throughout the day um, just so you can see how it's wearing. But so far, so far I like it, so far, um, Nothing is standing out. It's not looking uh, especially great. It's not looking terrible. Um, it's just looking like a normal foundation. So uh, I'll see throughout the day how it wears. I am not gonna powder. I'm not gonna touch up. I'm not gonna blot. Um, if I get a little bit of fallout, maybe I'll just wipe something away from my under eye, from a fallout from mascara or eyeshadow, but that's it. Uh, I'm not gonna touch anything um, on my face. I'm not gonna touch up anything on that area. So we just want to see what kind of uh, what kind of a day I'm gonna have with this. Um, again, I live in South Texas. The heat is brutal here. It's probably gonna get to over 100 degrees today, and I'll be in and out of my house. So um, yeah, let's see how this wears, and I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, just wanted to pop on real quick. This is going to be the mm, about five hour check in with the Pure Four in One Love Your Selfie Foundation, and so far it looks okay um it did end up caking up on me right through here um i don't know if that's necessarily the foundation or just the combination of the concealer with the powder i'm not too sure um i am maybe just a little bit oily around my nose maybe a little bit around my forehead my eyebrow area those are always my oiliest places, so um, I'm going to keep wearing this. I'll do a check-in again, maybe in about another two to three hours. I am planning to give this a good 12-hour wear test. I need my foundations to last 12 hours, if not more, um, and I know you guys need to. So, so far, we're okay. We're not great. We could be better, uh, but it's not a catastrophe. So I'll check in with you guys a little bit later. Hope everybody's enjoying your day or night or morning, whatever it is you guys are doing. Be safe, stay hydrated, drink your water, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. This is going to be my seven-hour check-in with the Pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Foundation. Now, I don't really see a huge change from my four-hour check-in to the seven-hour check-in. Um, I don't think that 
it has gotten oilier which is great i do have a little bit of oil right here on my nose a little bit slight in you know in my t-zone the cakiness has i guess subsided a little bit in here this is just always my problem area guys i always have um makeup that cakes up here and i don't know why um i don't know if i'm doing something wrong uh, if you have any recommendations for me please send them my way um but you know i'm happy with it so far um you know like i said before is it the best foundation i've ever worn no is it the worst absolutely not it feels comfortable on the skin it doesn't feel heavy it doesn't feel cakey um it doesn't feel like it's greasy or anything um and I think it still looks fine. I did add just a little bit more blush, but that's all I've done. I have not added any powder. I haven't really done any blotting. Um, I did wipe away, had a little slight fallout. I don't know, I guess that was from the mascara, but that was no big deal, that's nothing. Um, so it has been a solid seven hours with this. What do you all think? I even think it was a really good shade match. Again, I did that online um, at Macy's, so um, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy so far. Um, we'll see at the 12 hour check-in what it's going to look like. Remember, we need our foundations to last a good 12 hours. Work days are no longer eight hours. We are wearing our makeup for 12 hours, unfortunately. So um, yeah, I want something, whatever I put on my skin, especially foundation, concealer, we need that to hold up all day long. So um, yeah. Hope you're having a great time, guys. Be safe, and I'll see you all later. Bye. Hey, guys. So it's 11 o'clock um, at night, and this is my final 12-hour check-in for the Pure 4-in-1 Selfie Love Your Selfie Foundation. Um, I'm not very happy with it right now. Um, it's really broken up around my forehead especially right here around my nose um, again right here under my eye area where it's always my problem area around my mouth um, it's come off already down here um, it didn't wear as well as I expected it but um, as of right now you know maybe on camera it looks okay but here in person when i look at my magnifying mirror it is not looking great at all um you know and i know it's been 12 hours of wear that is a really long time um but um i do have foundations that look pretty decent after 12 hours and this one is just mm, I don't know guys I, I think it could be better but uh, I'm gonna give it another chance I'm gonna try totally new products with it um, I'm gonna try a new moisturizer new sunscreen um, new primer concealer powder everything I'm gonna try everything different than what I did today um, and we're so unfortunately the pure four in one love your selfie foundation did not end up working for me the next two days that I tried it Day two, I thought was going to be my winner. Um, I used that new uh, Touch and Soul Primer Essence that I got in my Boxy Lux, and it seemed to be doing good, pretty good for the first six hours, and then everything just went south. The third day, uh, it was just as bad as the first day, maybe even worse. So unfortunately, I cannot give this one a thumbs up. It didn't work for me. But that doesn't mean it's not going to work for you. Do I still love the brand Pure? Of course. I have eyeshadow palettes, face palettes that I really do enjoy from their line. But this uh, selfie foundation, love your selfie foundation, was not a thumbs up for me and my skin type. Sorry, guys. Uh, I'm ready for bed, guys. I just finished uploading my very first YouTube video. Oh, my God. What an experience. Who knew that editing a video could be so hard, but I'm going to get the hang of it. And um, I know once I do, um, you're going to see a lot more videos from me in the future. But until then, you all have a good night. For me, it's nighttime. For you, I don't know where you're at, but if it's night, have a good night. If it's morning, have a good morning. And if it's the afternoon, we'll have a good day. Um, thank you all so much for watching, for subscribing to my new YouTube channel, for following me on Instagram. Everything is at Steph's Beauty Stash. Um, and I'll see y'all later. Bye, guys.